right, everyone, welcome back to the land of Kel. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 52, and today we will explore the Pyramid of Nyusere and its Eastern Temple during a private, special permission access visit to the site on the recent Land of Chem 2024 Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour. So you can see the black basalt, heat storage paving stones, and the red quartzite conduit and product collection bowl system that I recently explained in episode 121. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization, utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, and stay tuned if you want to help support this channel and get access to exclusive research and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. Check out the members-only channel and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats, for all you cat lovers out there, and Egypt Eats for food reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for the intro, so without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And to begin, here is a beautiful illustration of the three pyramids at Abu Sir by one of the first archeologists to study and excavate this site, Ludwig Borchardt. And his work is the source of most of the archeological data that we have on the pyramids and temples in this area. And I love this depiction because it accurately shows the configurations of the pyramids of Nefercare, Nayusare, and Sahore, as well as the temple of Patashepsis here, the solar temple at Abu Ghraib here. And if you look up here, far in the distance, you can see the three pyramids of the Giza Plateau, a view which on a clear day is absolutely possible. As you can see here in this picture from my 2021 expedition to Abu Sir, taken from the solar temple at Abu Ghraib, looking at the Great Pyramid, the Central Pyramid, and the Final Pyramid of the Giza Plateau. Now, the structure that we will be visiting today is the Pyramid of Nayusare and its Eastern Temple, entering the site from this direction here, with the primary objective of investigating and documenting the black basalt paving stones and the red quartzite conduit and collection bowl system that you can see here. Once again, from Ludwig Boardchart's original data as expanded upon by Keith Hamilton in his Layman's Guide to the Pyramid of Nyusare. And I explained in the previous video, episode 121, functional pyramid stone, black basalt part two, that black basalt is a material that can be implemented for heat storage, which was utilized to capture and retain the heat energy generated by the interaction of this dielectric material and the electric fields from lightning strikes that maintain the temperature and fluidity of the product solution to prevent coagulation and blockage within the conduit system and ensure that no suspended or dissolved particles were lost during the transfer of the solution from the internal reaction chamber system within the pyramid into the collection bowl at the end. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I hope you enjoy Sunday Site Visit 52 from our private special permission access to Abu Sir during the recent 2024 Land of Chem Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour. All right, everyone, here we go with the Step Pyramid and the Pyramid of Yusurkov in Saqqara in the distance to the south. And here you can see the remains of the Pyramid of Nayusare. And we're entering the site through the northeastern corridor here. And huge shout out and thank you to my wife Alexa for doing all of the filming while I was busy discussing with the tour group. 
She always does an exceptional job and I'll put a link to her channel, Ancient Odysseys, in the video description below. Here are the inner chambers of the temple adjacent to the pyramid's eastern side. And within these inner chambers are the remains of a second part of the conduit system. I have yet to see this in person, but it is documented on board charts, original plan and a major topic for investigation during my next expedition to Abu Sir. And here you can see a saw cut into this piece of black basalt. And the second piece of the conduit system should be somewhere in this area, most likely now buried back below the sand. column base buried in the sand and here is the red quartzite inlet into the conduit system that runs below the black basalt paving of the eastern temple feeding into the collection bowl at the end come out much further than the core that you can see here today. The core of the Pyramid of Nyusere here. Again, this structure used to be a complete tetrahedral pyramid with finished casing stones, all of which have now been removed. That was sitting here, feeding into this channel. So now we'll walk in this direction and we'll follow the length perfectly and here the pyramid of Sahure to the north more red granite column bases embedded into the paving here so in the ancient And here is the Pyramid of Neferkare. Again, three major pyramids within the site complex of Abu Sir, the Pyramid of Sahure, the Pyramid of Nayusare, and the Pyramid of Neferkare. And you can see here the weathered remains of the mud brick temple on the eastern side of the Pyramid of Neferkare. There are some limestone blocks that still remain here adjacent to this pyramid's eastern side. And here you can really see how the natural fissures and polygonal shapes of the black basalt stone that were found in the quarry were used to replicate the geological signature of the quarry within the construction site itself. These fissures and shapes are how this basalt forms naturally. The stones were extracted in order and then put back in the exact same place within the paving stones of this Eastern temple. Here you can see the remains of one of the pillars, more of the hieroglyphs here in this fragment of red granite. Again, the pyramid of Sahure to the north here. 
and a tubular drill into a piece of red granite here. Pyramid of Nefercare, Pyramid of Nyusere, the remains of a pillar here, and here you can really get a sense of the ruins of the site and how destroyed this temple is currently. Here you can start to see the varying depth of the pieces of black basalt stone. Finally making a reappearance here. Again, the pyramid of Djoser and Yusurkov in the distance there to the south. And here is the termination of the red quartzite conduit, depositing the solution into the collection bowl here, also made from red quartzite. Absolutely one of my favorite in situ artifacts. And the first component that completely changed my mind about the function of the Egyptian pyramids as related to being utilized for the production of chemicals on an industrial scale. see the red quartzite conduit again. Flowing underneath the black basalt here. And the termination that deposits the product into the collection bowl. distance to the south. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Eastern Temple of the Pyramid of Nyusere. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday Site Visit 52, Private Access to Abu Sir, Part 1. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and in the next episode of the series, I will be investigating a site that we recently rediscovered on the Giza Plateau, the mysterious crystal temple structure and industrial settlement. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization, utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget to click that little notification bell, like, comment, and stay tuned. 
If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only section and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats. For all you cat lovers out there in Egypt Eats for food reviews, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for today's episode. So I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now!